says I think I have to steal one. These are the Daisy Maker sets on that's her shop.com if you want to check them out and these are larges and extra larges. It doesn't look like there's a lot but there is so many. I think I have like around 70 corsets in total a couple smalls and mediums here i've already hung a ton but yeah these are how the corsets look like such good quality it's the same brand that makes my girls night out corsets there's so much inventory in here it's like fully stocked these are the i now choose myself crewnecks that just launched i have them in three colors these are launching today as well preppy vests they're so cute i just don't know how to style it, so I'm a little jealous. Oh shoot, I still have more. I knew I had more. This is a 2XL of the crew neck. I now choose myself right on the neckline. Yesterday for the launch date, they're like, why is it so expensive? 68 bucks for a plain flutter in like a small thing on the neck. I can't help but defend myself. I've put so much work into these, even though they just look like plain Jane sweaters. They're quality, sustainable sweaters made piece by piece. Literally, they were not outsourced. These were produced in Germany. The material is 65% cotton, which is unheard of, especially when you make crewnecks. But the brand I hired, they made these sustainably. I honestly should have been pricing my sweaters at $75, actually 80, to make closer to a 50% margin return. Even that I didn't do. I'm barely making anything back, which is okay for now, but business-wise, like it's not smart at all. At the end of the day, like it hurts my pocket but i'm just trying to be mindful because i knew there were going to people who were going to complain about the crew neck being too expensive i'm literally lowballing my small business i just have to do that for now i'm just gonna hope that going forward i'll have a stronger bolder business plan i hate to sound like i'm defending my business but it's my business and it's my baby it really hurts when people don't understand i can't please everyone people are gonna complain about prices it's just it's just gonna be a thing I've been walking 10k steps a day on my walking pad in my standing desk converter, which I got from Wayfair. It's on sale right now. These run up to like 200 bucks on Amazon, and this is the cheapest one I found on Wayfair. It's on sale. It did come chipped though, the corner. But it works amazing, and it's white, so it matches. This walking pad has been amazing. I've been hitting over 10,000 steps a day on the weekdays. If you guys aren't following me on Instagram, I mean, I'm on TikTok. I'm doing this 10K steps and no takeout for 30 days for the month of February, minus weekends or wavering weekends. I still stick to the no takeout. I'm not gonna do that for a whole month. Sometimes on the weekends, I tend to not walk 10K steps. I don't think there's a big difference in my body. I have not seen any difference, but I just feel better in general. I'm gonna link this walking pad. It's the cheapest one I found on Amazon. I have to finish up my taxes. It's been a little crazy. I just got done weighing a bunch of inventory, also pricing them, and launching two extra new products. Corsets, so we have the white ones back here, but we also have these blue ones with the Daisy May corset. It literally has padding, so you can literally wear this to push up the girlies with no bra, which we love. And then there's this draping part that you can drape low like that, so you can show your sweetheart neckline. Scrunching the sides like so. It's freaking amazing but you can keep the scrunching regular as well and you don't have to show the padding. A lot of corsets don't have boning. I call it boned corsets because of the skeleton underneath. A lot of corsets don't have that in the sides. My daisy corsets literally have the boning on the sides so it cinches in your waist even more than you think. I don't know if you can tell but they're freaking amazing. Anyway, I'm writing thank you notes back to those who wrote me little letters when ordering. I'm like a big sister to her. My heart. I just got an update about my new medication. Okay, I just got diagnosed yesterday. Good morning. In about an hour, I have an appointment to diagnose whether or not or evaluate whether or not I have ADHD. I've been really anxious about it and nervous about it for a couple days. I know I have tendencies and just really stressed and overwhelmed with everything that I have going on. Hence why my eyes look like shit. Like my bags, oh my God, I haven't seen my eyes this bad. I wish me luck on the appointment. I launched my sweaters today. 
which is exciting, but that also was a roller coaster. It's weird because it doesn't feel like a burnout. I could differentiate between a burnout and just feeling stressed and overwhelmed all the time 24 seven, and this is it. <laughs> I feel okay, not as nervous as yesterday. You can put me on, it's on your computer. Yeah, it's on my computer. You can just leave me on the speaker if you want. <laughs> no, there's nothing to work. I don't know. I know. What brings you in today? Um, 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 not being able to focus. Um, and, uh, I was really nervous. The biggest sign she said for me was that I tend to drift out of conversations, and that's always been a thing with me. I zone out into a whole com different, like, narrative in my head. I start thinking about, like, what I need to get done. Completely, like, out of a conversation, not listening, and then zone back in and realize, like, oh my god, I don't know what we're talking about. That was a really big indicator. Like, my my priorities. I'm so overwhelmed that I can't focus or get things done. So I guess I have ADHD. <laughs> kind of crazy that just happened. Medication will help. Ugh. Yeah. Eight years, nine years now. I've just always been this way. I just always blamed it on like from therapy. I just learned that it was just I never learned how to cope like correctly. It turns out I just have ADHD. <laughs> But yeah, I was diagnosed with inattentive, is that what it's called? Predominantly inattentive ADHD. And they prescribed me Adderall, which could be like a little intense for me. I feel like I was a bit uncomfortable, a little nervous to take that. And so I asked if I can go for something else. Concerta? Concerta? So that's what is being order to the pharmacy. I think I'm noticing my little tendencies more and more now that I'm like aware. For example, this morning I went downstairs to grab something so I can send to my boyfriend work-wise and then I ended up staying downstairs doing my thank you cards because I saw them. But to me, it was just because it was more efficient. I was down there anyway. But my plan was to stay in my room and tag and stuff. I ended up staying in my office doing tedious things that weren't like on the priority list. So we just launched the blue corset and then I just launched our Not Your Grandpa's Sweater Vest. It's so cute, Not Your Grandpa's Sweater Vest. Jalen Key, she actually orders a lot from my website at her seventh order already. That's a loyal customer. So Jalen, you're watching. Hello, I notice you all the time. She's always shopping like the new drops, which is so sweet. My sister made herself some ramen in this cute little Korean pot. And she brought these from Hawaii. Oh, I bought hair claw clips, freebies. They're so cute. So far for my steps, I've taken only 7,000. I need to figure this out because when I'm packing, I'm gonna be standing, but I'm not gonna have time to finish my steps at night. So I might have to walk for a little bit after dinner. <laughs> I'm tired. I love this shirt. It's so easy. I think I'm gonna eat this whole thing, not gonna lie. I don't I really have a new show to watch, so I've been watching Georgia and Ginny, just like catching up because it's been trending and my hairstylist said I'll like it. It's okay, I'm annoyed of her though. I don't really like Ginny, but I like the mom. Dessert tonight. I'm gonna eat this. <gasps> I have a good joke for you. Did you know that French fries weren't made in France? Did you know that french fries weren't made in France? They were made in Greece. <laughs> I'm stealing my sister's cookie. Congrats, class of 2023. She's graduating with the doctorate. But I only want like the edge. Did you um, ever? Mm. My sister got me some milk carton glass. I forgot to record, but I just got done walking my walking pad. Happy to announce. But I hit 10,000 steps. And it's currently 8 o'clock. I need to get ready to go live. We are ready to go live, it's such a tiny camera. Um, I have my setup with my cart and all of my supplies, all the inventory back here, wow. So, let's do this. 
sorry, a couple days passed and I didn't get to end the vlog. Valentine's weekend happened. My boyfriend and I spent it together. We did our usual tradition where we painted. And this year we attempted to make pasta by hand. His parents got me a pasta maker for Christmas. And so we did that. And then we watched Super Bowl, of course. The Queen Riri just made this the best Super Bowl performance in history, in my opinion. I think she redefined confidence and empowerment. 90s babies. We have the best generation of music. So a little update on the medicine. I'm not able to get a hold of the ADHD meds. There's a shortage throughout the whole nation. I'm gonna have to try to call a new pharmacy to see if they have it in stock and then get it transferred. When I start the meds, I will let you guys know. Follow along to see how this new journey goes. I'll talk about it in the next vlog. Anyhoosies, take care of your brain.